Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick project. This was a commission for the hat from the mask and I made it all out of foam. It uses super simple techniques, so it's perfect if you're just starting out. I keep little squares of foam to compare thicknesses for projects. I settled on 4 and 6 millimeter for this one. I took the measurement provided to me for the head circumference and gave it a more oval shape, while taking into account the thickness of the foam. Once it was cut out, I measured and drew the size of the brim. I cut a rectangle the length of the circumference, if you can even say that, and tested all of the pieces together. I took the top of the hat and carved in a smaller oval, without cutting all the way through. Then I held the cut open and put hot glue inside so it would hold that position. This technique is called Hills and Valleys, and there are tons of tutorials on it. I carefully heated it up so as not to melt the glue, and pushed in a bit more of a shape. Once that was done, I moved on to the long rectangle. I marked off an area and applied contact cement, then carefully folded the edge. Once that was ready, I used contact cement to close that shape up. I connected the two pieces carefully and then began to apply contact cement on the brim. This part was super tricky, but slowly and carefully I connected it. I sanded the edges round and then heat sealed it with a blowtorch. Quick seal was used to seal the gaps and imperfections before I coated it with Plasti Dip. I used white Plasti Dip since the paint was going to be yellow. Once completely dry, I put masking tape along the edge and painted the black border. Unfortunately, there was still a bit of cleanup I needed to do anyways once I unmasked it. The border around the hat was a nice black velvet ribbon I just hot glued on. I left a little space where the client would add his feather. And there it was, quick and easy. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out my website, suspiciousTumbleweed.com if you're interested in seeing more of my projects, as well as a store where I sell prints, patterns, props, and apparel. Also a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers, your help is greatly appreciated. Until next time guys.